All right guys, today I'm gonna show you guys how to install a custom ROM on the Droid 3. Pretty much this is gonna be the process to install any custom ROM on your Droid 3 using SafeStrap. So, let's uh, kinda get into this. Um, right now, I'm just in a ROM. This is actually CM9, but we're going to leave out of it and hit your power button, tell it to reboot, and say reboot yes, and go ahead and reboot. Um, I'm assuming that you guys already have uh, SafeStrap version 2.1 installed already, and if you don't, I'm going to give you a link to that video um, so you can watch that. So that's a prerequisite for this. Um, make sure you have that installed already. Once you have that, you'll see what happens when you reboot here. Um, you're going to get the Motorola logo like you got here, and then it's going to go to a SafeStrap screen. Once on the safe strap screen, you want to make sure the safe strap is enabled like it is here, and you want to hit your menu button in the bottom corner. All right. Um, if your screen is red, you cannot proceed. You have to go and toggle safe system on, which again will be in my safe strap video on how to do that. Um, if it's a green and it says enabled, then go ahead and proceed into safe strap, and we're going to go in here to install a ROM. So make sure you have the ROM you want on your SD card and you know where it is on your SD card make sure it's already downloaded to that place and then go ahead and start this procedure at the top you can see we're in SafeStrap recovery version 2.1 and that safe system is enabled so once you have those two things you're gonna go ahead and scroll down with your volume keys to wipe data factory reset and you're going to use your uh, what is this, magnifying glass, your search button down here to select. And scroll down until you hit yes, delete all user data. Select it. So we're going to go ahead and let this thing format data, format cache, and do all that. And then we'll go to the next step. Next step is going to be... Um, we're going to wipe cache again. Um, it's just good to do it again, even though I think wiping data and factory reset does it also, which it does, it formats it. But we're going to do it twice. Um, it's just been a practice I've always done, and it works good for me. So, um, wipe cache partition. Select it again with the search button down here at the bottom. And then, yes, wipe cache. And select it. Um, and then after this, we're going to go into Advanced, and we're going to wipe Delvic. So scroll down here to near the bottom. Right there it says Advanced. Select Advanced. Scroll down once to wipe Delvic cache. Select it. And then select Yes, wipe it. All right, so now your system is cleaned up. You don't got anything in there. It's all cleaned up now. You should be able to go ahead and install ROM. So we're going to actually go back because we're in the advanced menu. So at the bottom here it says go back. Select that. All right, so we're going to do install zip from SD card or slash flash ROM from SD card. You can call it that too if you want. Um, and we're going to select it. And then choose zip from SD card. Select that. It's very at the top, highlighted. And then my zip I put on my uh, ROM, I should say, I put on my external SD card. So I'm going to select that one. And I also stored it in my Kexic folder. Now, SafeStrap uh, version 2.1 can install Kexic ROMs or normal ROMs. Either way is fine. Um, and this one I'm going to do is actually going to be MavROM 4.5. So let's see, we're going to select Kexic. And we're going to scroll down to D3 or Droid 3 MavROM 4.5 zip. And we're going to select that one. And we're going to hit yes. So it's going to go ahead and install. It's finding the update package, opening update package, and it's going to go through the install procedure. When it's done, we will reboot the phone and we'll go from there. So I'm going to let this thing run. Probably going to take about two minutes to do it. And we'll come back to it. All right, uh, install finished. Um, so we're actually going to scroll down to the bottom where it says go back and select that. Um, and then we're going to select reboot. And it 
will reboot the device. Um, so, basically this procedure that I just did works to install basically any ROM on the Droid 3 in SafeStrap. See again, you have SafeStrap enabled. If you don't touch anything, your phone will automatically boot in, run the new app that you just put on. The new, I'm sorry, the new ROM you just put in. So, just let it boot up. Um, so you could install like Steel Droid or you could install a CM9 build or a CM10 maybe preview that's out right now. Any of those can be done in the exact same process I just did. Um, it's really pretty easy. So just remember to wipe your big three, which is data, cache, and Delvet cache. If you wipe those three and install your ROM, you should be good to go. The ROM I installed is Mavrom 4.5. It is based on gingerbread. So everything really in there is fully functioning from what I found. I haven't found any real issues with Mavrom. It's a fully functioning build, uh, camera, everything, recording, everything works really well. It's tweaked to run better, smoother, and faster, and customized. And there's a lot of little tweaks you can do in there and some cool settings, um, along with theming and things like that. So I'll show it to you as soon as it boots up here, and we'll go from there. Alright, we fully booted up here, and I just kind of skipped past, past my setup stuff except for Wi-Fi here. Um, so, let me just show you a couple things on here. Uh, as you can see up here, you have a battery bar along with the percentage of battery that's left in 1% increments. So, I really like that feature. Um, and you have your, your, your time up there. Um, you have a bunch of custom toggles up here. Um, you know, your, your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your GPS, your uh, airplane mode, speaker, brightness. It's all right there. Really nice to have those toggles sitting right there on your notification bar. Um, you can see this is basically um, gingerbread here. Nothing too exciting. Let's see what ROMs he's got with it. Um, you know your Gmail, your main, your your normal Google ROM or apps or whatever are in here. Your uh, DSP manager for audio is in there. You have those settings. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah, your normal, your Office, our quick Office that comes with this things in here. You have root, root browser in there, um, and then your blur setup. If you want to use it to set up to the phone, you can use their kind of setup software. You know, you have your super user because this thing has root, and then you have your Maverick toolbox, which is what I'm going to check out. So, in the Maverick toolbox, you have a bunch of utilities here. You have ad blocker, blocks all the ads in games and apps and stuff like that, which is really nice. Um, your battery bar settings again is here. DSP manager again is there. Updating the toolbox. CPU clock speed. You can actually change the CPU clock speed and you can overclock it to 1.1 gigahertz or to 1.2 gigahertz. Um, so that's really cool. Overclock your CPU a little bit. You have some memory settings here. Some basics, some advanced, different memory settings there to manage your RAM. Um, here you can change your gallery app, your messaging app, your launcher app, and there's different ones to pick from. And it'll re, it'll install, like for example, it'll install the Blur uh, messaging app, or you can have the um, the Android messaging app, which is the AOSP, I think is what it's called, messaging app. And then in here, these are all themes you can pick and flash the themes to the device. Um, and it'll theme it for you. These are all pre in here. And then what else we got here? We have wallpapers. So these are all Mavrom wallpapers that you can pick from and set if you want. So those are all in the Maverick toolbox, which is awesome. I really like playing with all those. Those are cool. The customization is stuff I really like. So that's pretty much what you got in your app drawer. That's, that's your look at that. Um, then your settings, this is based off of, here I go to about phone, this is based off of, um, like I said, Gingerbread, which is system version 5.7.906, and for the Droid 3, which is Android 2.3.4. But like I said, this is fully functioning, I've seen no glitches, no problems with this thing, very customizable, and really nice to run. So. Um, like I say, I'll put any links I have for the ROM and anything like that, XDA forms and all that in my description. And uh, links to SafeStrap if you don't have that set up for you. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, so go ahead and subscribe if you'd like. I, I'll be making more Droid 3 videos um, now that I've got my wife over to the Bionic and I got this thing freed up to do whatever I want with. So it's been fun. Thanks a lot, guys.